Steve and his father-in-law Don crop 1,500 acres each year in the fertile soils near Riverton, South Australia. They have made the progression to zero till using a Bettini disc seeder. Steve talks to us about this transition. We've been doing 15 years of no-till um, with not press wheels and points and last year for a few paddocks we actually bought a new cedar in from Argentina with disc machines and so this year everything will be put in with discs. Well we um, had a Connor Shea Super 8 scarifier and we uh, cut and shut that uh, and made it uh, useful for knife points and press wheels and that was uh, okay we used that for five years and then we decided to buy a new bar and it was a Horwood Bagshaw Scary Bar um, 27 foot with a 6,000 litre uh, air seater box and we've had that up until middle of last year and then sold it and bought this new disc seater. We realised that we needed to maintain soil cover early um, so the Connor Shea and even some of the scary bars couldn't handle the stubbles that we were producing so we had to either slash or harrow uh, to bash around the stubbles to get the knife points through. Uh, I feel we were doing the right thing by keeping as much stubble as we could um, and now we have bought this disc machine after seeing them overseas and some people in Australia using where you don't have to do anything to the stubble to be able to go through it and uh, so yeah we've gone into the disc machine so we can keep all the stubble minimal soil disturbance or zero disturbance um, and therefore that's the system we're using now. Um, the only preparations we do for wheat stubbles is harvest and get a good spread on our uh, chaff coming out the back. On our canola stubbles, we're, uh, we always burn the windrows um, and, in the, they go st and we do straight into the bean stubbles or legume stubbles. So we haven't had to do any different uh, preparation. We've actually saved quite a bit of preparation. Um, we are going faster with the old uh, scary bar we used to do eight kilometers an hour was the maximum because we didn't want too much soil throw for moving the uh, trifluoral and then pre-emergent chemicals on to the next row so we had to go slow that we've only upped our speed about three kilometers and also uh, with a bit extra width we've got now the we are doing about another four hectares an hour in comparison to uh, what we were doing. Come back in a couple of years time and we'll see how this new system's working.